Hi, everybody. It's June 5th. 2018, a Tuesday, and this is news break. Boy, we got a lot of news. Let's get to it, okay? Harvey Weinstein pleaded not guilty Tuesday to rape and criminal sex charges in New York. No doubt some good lawyering is going to start happening, and all those women who are cheering, we finally got them, we finally got, we haven't got them yet. Just hold on. You can hold the happy fizzies parties later on. Uh, prosecutors working for special counsel Robert Mueller accusing the former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort of trying to tamper with witnesses in his ongoing criminal case. What a stupid man he is. Arrogant, too. Mueller's team says in the new court filing that Manafort and one of his associates repeatedly contacted two witnesses, not one, two witnesses in an effort to influence their testimony. The contacts occurred ready for this, while Manafort was under house arrest. I'm not kidding you. They, they, I can't write this stuff. Well, actually, I do. But uh, The president on Monday called off a visit by the Philadelphia Eagles to the White House, citing the dispute over whether NFL players must stand during playing the national anthem. But what he, he, they, they didn't want to show up, well, most of them, because they didn't want to be there. Uh, and uh, the president then said, well, I don't want you here. Okay, so that's the way he does stuff. By the way, that's our only real Trump story for the day. Uh, billionaire conservative David Koch is stepping down from the Koch brothers' network of businesses and political activities. The 78-year-old New York conservative, you remember he spent money on a lot of conservative causes and resident, is suffering from deteriorating health, and according to a letter from his brother Charles Koch, uh, the company officials uh, said that it was... Uh, it was uh, not a happy thing happening. So nobody, don't cheer. The guy's in bad health. And we're rid of him, so, you know. Former President Bill Clinton got himself into a bit of a, a heated storm yesterday. He was asked uh, Monday if the Monica Lewinsky scandal of his administration happened during the Me Too movement. Uh, what would he do? And he said he wouldn't have changed how he handled the situation. Um, a lot of people are complaining about the way he answered this question. What the hell, you know? Uh, a, a lot of us forget all the details, and the devil is in the details that were on back then. And I, you know, my point is, hey, you know, she she seduced him. At least that's the way the story goes. And at that age, when you're going into past, you're in middle age, and you're going to older age, you're very you you succumb to the charms of a younger woman. Take it from me, I know. Authorities in Saudi Arabia issued the first driver's license to a woman on Monday, giving Saudi Arabia now the ability to tell women drivers jokes for the first time in their history. Rescuers pulled survivors' bodies from the charred aftermath of a powerful eruption in Guatemala's volcano of fire as the death toll rose to 65 on Monday. So that makes two volcanoes that are wreaking havoc on their populations on this planet right now. Starbucks uh, chairman and the CEO Howard Schultz is stepping down as executive chairman of the coffee company that he helped transform into a global, global brand. He says public service may be in his future. Schultz, who is 64, says he's considering many possibilities, including a political career, which could include running for president. Uh, I don't think so. I, I don't. I don't want a guy who makes my coffee. Plus, I'm drinking Pete's here, and Pete's is the guy who, st they started the coffee company with Schultz, and then they split off. One became Pete's, one became Starbucks. Pete's is the better coffee. When North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and President Donald Trump hold their summit at an exclusive Singapore destination in Asia, and it's one of the priciest in Asia, they'll no doubt build up quite a tap. Well, if president, uh, precedent is any indication, expect Pyongyang to play, pay as little as possible. Uh, two anonymous U.S. officials are suggesting that the Trump administration has been seeking a discreet way to help pay Kim's hotel bill. Yeah. Uh, also, you know when that guy Chol came to visit him at the White House the other day? You know what, what supposedly went on as well? He proposed the United States pay for them to open up a casino <laughs> In, in North Korea. My question is, you open up a casino in North Korea, nobody has money to bet, okay? 
And finally, the Miss America pageant is dropping the swimsuit competition. Aw, no more uh, looking for, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 you know, when you can see the thing in the, well, anyway, uh, they're dropping the swimsuit competition saying they'll no longer judge contestants on their appearance. What, on their intelligence? Okay, I hope so. We'll all give them an IQ test and have them work out crossword puzzles, right? For our picture of the day, well, hey, it's Ramadan, so what the hell? Let's show Ramadan. It's the Islamic uh, religious month, actually, and there are a bunch of people praying during Ramadan. Ding dong. And finally, finally, our, our uh, clip of the day from the citizen panel. I'll show you how the citizen panel works. People raise their hands when they want to talk. And uh, that got us into something. But first, Kevin had something to say about Roseanne. There's a possibility, we don't know, that she had already been warned, watch yourself. If you screw up, you could be busted. And she may have just walked that line and screwed up, and she got busted. Uh, you know, yeah. that's, the possible, that's possibly what happened. I don't know that. We don't right. know that. But, you know, it's also the money. There's no doubt yeah. about it. Ray has his hand up, and I, I, I want to be, go to him because if he has to keep moving his hand up while driving, that could be dangerous. <laughs> and then we go to then we go to Phil. You just don't want officer and, and then, then uh, yeah. and then we go to Phil oh, with the, with his minstrel glove on. <laughs> and that's the way it goes with the citizen panel. You can see us tonight uh, at ten o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Go to youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett Live, or you can just go to YouTube and type in Alex. Bennett, and it will get you there as well. Also, don't forget, you can find us after the fact on things like, oh, uh, how about trying uh, YouTube? How about trying uh, Facebook? How about trying Livestream? How about trying uh, uh, iTunes? Uh, how about, uh, you know something? Go over to the gabnet.net page. There are all the different ways and all the different places you can see us. We'll see you again right here back tomorrow, I hope. Have a nice day, everybody.